Salsa was one of the first names in production fat bikes and has been a leader in the segment ever since. The Bear Grease is Salsa's go fast fat bike. It's a race bike, a bike packing rig, and a capable single track shredder, offering a level of bump compliance, grip, and flotation that narrower tread hardtails simply can't match. The Bear Grease continues to evolve with the latest trends in trail bike design. After switching from 26 to larger 27.5 inch wheels in 2018, it receives a totally redesigned frame for 2019. An increase in length of the bike's front center has made the Bear Grease a bit longer overall. It's also a bit shorter, allowing for the addition of an extra small model. MTB On Demand's test of the 2019 Salsa Bear Grease was made possible by Reezer Bicycle Outfitters, the Cincinnati area's premier cycling source. Reezer carries several of the hottest brands with many different models to choose from in stock and a professional staff that's there to help. Need accessories? Reezer has them, along with a friendly expert service department that works on all makes and models to help keep your bike performing its best. Reezer Bicycle Outfitters, conveniently located on Monmouth Street in Newport. Offering a full carbon lineup for 2019, pricing for a complete bike begins at $2,299 for the Shimano Dior one by model that we're testing. A SRAM NX Eagle model sells for $2,899 and GX Eagle for $3,899. $5,599 gets you the top of the line model with a SRAM X01 Eagle drivetrain including carbon cranks, guide RS brakes, and Whiskey No. 9 carbon wheels laced to DT Swiss 350 hubs. The rest of the kit includes a nice mix of aftermarket and salsa branded parts, including a carbon fiber handlebar and seat post. This build demonstrates just how serious salsa is about the fat bike segment. For comparison to the 2019 Bear Grease Dior one by we have a 2016 Carbon X7, which features 26 inch wheels and a two by SRAM drivetrain. Although the 2019 retails for a few hundred dollars less, it's 2.7 pounds lighter and is arguably better specced. Ensuring superior grip and a fair performance comparison, we installed 4 inch wide 45 North Van Helga tires on both bikes. The Van Helga feature one of the tallest, most widely spaced tread patterns of any fat bike tire on the market for superior performance in loose snow or mud. They offer adequate knob surface for predictable grip on hard dirt, and the shoulder knobs are triple siped for additional biting edges and ice. Their dual tread compound provides longer lasting, faster rolling center knobs with softer compound shoulder knobs for added cornering grip. The Van Helga are capable of handling almost any type of trail condition that mother nature can dish out. 80 millimeter wide Sun Ringley Mulefoot SL aluminum rims came from the factory on both bikes. Comparing the two size large frames, the 2019 has a 5.7 millimeter longer wheelbase of 1,151 millimeters. In spite of its larger tires, it retains a chainstay length of 440 millimeters. The added length comes from a 5.8 millimeter increase in reach to 444.7 millimeters and an effective top tube length increase of 8 millimeters to 633 millimeters. To match the slower steering 27.5 inch wheels, the head tube angle was slightly steepened from 68.4 to 68.56 degrees. Seat tube angle remains unchanged at 73 degrees. Standover height was reduced by 6.4 millimeters to 774.8 millimeters. The Bear Grease is now a one by drivetrain specific design, allowing up to a 32 tooth front chain ring. With a 12 millimeter axle, Rear hub spacing has increased from 177 to 192 millimeters. This boosts lateral stability and with 27 and a half inch wheels will accept up to a four inch tire on an 82 millimeter wheel. You can also run up to a 4.6 inch tire on 26 inch wheels. And with 29 inch wheels, you can run various standard and plus size tires. Easing maintenance and improving shifting performance. The Bear Grease drivetrain now features fully internal sleeved cable routing. Meeting customer demands, there's now internal routing for a dropper post and an easily serviceable threaded bottom bracket. Bear Grease use carbon forks featuring a 51mm offset and a 15mm through axle. 
They can accept the same size wheels and tires as the rear of the frame, with the exception of allowing a slightly larger 4.8-inch tire versus a 4.6 on a 26-inch wheel. The stock fork is 483 millimeters in length, and the frame is rated for a 511 millimeter long suspension fork with 100 millimeters of travel. The Dior 1x models feature a bare paw fork featuring three bike pack mounts per leg. The other models feature Salsa's new Kingpin forks, with the top two models featuring the Kingpin Deluxe, with a lighter weight carbon steerer tube instead of aluminum. The Kingpin forks add a second set of three bike pack mounts to the back of the legs, plus a mid-blade mount on the outside of each leg. There's also internal wire routing for those upgrading to Dynamo hubs, which generate power for lights, charging devices, etc. The frame received a new water bottle or accessory mount on the top of the top tube and bottom of the down tube. There are also one or two mounts inside the frame, depending upon size. The Dior 1x model we are testing features a Dior 11-speed drivetrain with a race face ride crankset and 28-tooth chainring. SRAM level brakes with 160mm rotors were used at both ends. Modernizing the cockpit, the stem on the size large has been shortened by 10mm to 70mm. 800mm handlebars are used on the large and extra large models, with 750mm handlebars used on all of the previous and current smaller models. The seat post, stem, handlebars, and lock-on grips are all salsa branded, paired with a WTB Volt Sport saddle. Hey, I'm Gabe from MTB On Demand. We're at DeVue Park here in Covington, Kentucky. Just wrapped up testing of the 2019 Bear Grease versus the prior generation. Getting on the bike, the uh, cockpit feels a lot different and more roomy because of the wider bars and the shorter stem, uh, which felt a lot more playful to me. The uh, 26 is a little quicker on smooth trails, but when you get a little rougher trail, the 27 and a half uh, comes out on top, in my opinion, in terms of acceleration uh, because of the rollover. In terms of climbing ability, the uh, 2019 Bear Grease came out on top, in my opinion. Uh, that's because the 27 and a half inch tires gave you a bigger uh, contact patch and more traction when climbing, and the wider bars. Uh, we're able to give me more leverage to get up the uh, steeper parts of the hill. I felt on the trail that the 27 and a half was more agile because of the larger contact patch. Uh, even in the tight turns, it felt like I was a little faster than the 26. Uh, in terms of high speed corners, I could really lean it in with the 2019. Uh, the traction patch really helped out and uh, the 27 and a half inch tires were amazing. Uh, in terms of the downhills, uh, I kind of like the uh, 2019 model better just because of the larger wheels. Uh, you, had, you could carry your speed better, uh, the larger wheels want to stay you know, going in the same direction more, and they just have a bigger contact patch, uh, so I could kind of lean into the turns a bit more, and just more confidence going down. Uh, in terms of braking performance, I preferred the 2019 model due to the bigger tires. Uh, I felt like I could, just, I could pull the brakes a little harder without locking up, and I had a little better control over uh, braking power. In terms of drivetrain performance, uh, I preferred the 2019 model because of the one by drivetrain. Uh, it's much lighter, uh, a lot simpler, and there's only one shifter to deal with. Uh, there were a few instances where the 2016 model uh, with the double ring up front helped out on climbs when I could just dump down to the smaller ring. Uh, the tires we ran were 45 North Van Helga's. Uh, I ran six in the front and seven in the rear on both bikes. And uh, the tires are absolutely amazing uh, from anywhere from intermediate to muddy conditions. Uh, the large knobs really dug through and bit into the mud, uh, just really giving me a lot of confidence in the corners and uh, the straightaways when I'm accelerating. Um, so just great overall tires and uh, really supple too. In conclusion, my opinion of the 2019 Bear Grease, if you're looking to get a fat bike or upgrade your old one, uh, the 2019 Bear Grease is a good place to go. For more information on the 2019 Salsa Bear Grease and their full line of bicycles and accessories, log on to SalsaCycles.com.